What's up everybody, Adam here, and I'm coming to you with a bonus uh, comic haul this week. Uh, this one's more just a comic shop haul. Um, my wife and I went to a store called Second and Charles. They sell a lot of random stuff, uh, one of which is a lot of comic book stuff. So we made a quick trip there yesterday, and we left with a lot more than we anticipated. So I'm going to get right into what we picked up. Uh, first thing that I picked up is the Death Note Manga. I'm trying to get this without my monitor glaring on it. The Death Note Manga Complete Box Set. Um, I actually bought this, my wife actually bought this for me a while ago. Um, I let somebody borrow it and I never got it back and I felt bad about it and I had been saving up my money to buy it for her to make it up for her, you know, me losing it to someone else. But now I have it again. To give, and I gave it to her, so now it's hers, and not just mine, but it, con it contains the complete collection of the Death Note manga. And then my wife also picked up a manga, Four-Eyed Prince, because he wears glasses, and I guess he's a prince. I don't know. It's what she wanted. Uh, we picked up one variant. It's one of the uh, DC... Got terrible glare. I'll say these are gonna stay in their bags so mainly. But it's the DC Aquaman Lego cover. Uh, I think she's mainly gonna use this for crafts, but it's it's Aquaman in Lego form in a cool cover. So there's that. Uh, next up, books that I got uh, for my collection. Uh, I'm not sure if this is called Plutona or Plutina. Uh, I heard Good things about this at the comic shop, they actually were sold out of this because there was a lot of buzz at my regular comic shop, but they actually had this at uh, Second and Charles. So I thought I'd pick it up. I don't really know what it's about, but it, I'm, it, would it be called Plutona, maybe? Maybe it's a little alien girl from Pluto? I don't know. I look forward to reading it. Like I said, I heard it had some hype, so I thought I'd pick it up. And then I was able to find some older books. Uh, first one is going to be X-Force 38. It's a Phalanx Covenant tie-in. Uh, this was a random series back in the day. I don't remember. Some thing that was infecting mutants. I don't really remember the exact storyline. I just know this is one of the books I need to finish the storyline. And I know this is the storyline that introduced uh, Blink into the regular universe. So... It's kind of a cool little arc to have if you like the character Blink. Uh, next up, two different X-Man books. We got X-Man 41 and X-Man 72. Uh, I'm trying to get a complete run of X-Man. It was one of my favorite books uh, after the Age of Apocalypse series. So anytime I go there, they're usually a dollar, two dollars at most. So anytime I can find any of those back issues that I don't have, I try and pick them up when I'm there because I've seen them in other stores for like four or five bucks a piece and it's like, it's an older book, but it's not that popular. I don't know anybody else who's clamoring for X-Men other than myself. And then last of adding to my collection is Justice League number three from way, way back in the day. Uh, this is essentially the precursor to the Super Buddies or the formerly known as the Justice League. Uh, storyline stuff. Um, it was a Giffen and DeMatteis. They do a fantastic, fantastic job uh, of balancing the action and the humor in the book. So I really, I really like it. I'm glad I was able to pick up one of those uh, individual issues for only a buck. So there's that. And then I got the Hush Volume One and Hush Volume Two. And if memory serves, I think that's actually the complete uh, Hush collection, volume one and two. Um, a little torn on what I'm doing with those at the moment. We're leaning towards letting my wife use it for crafts because Jim Lee's artwork is phenomenal in this. So there's a lot of really great uh, images to use on the different crafts that she makes, vases and stuff like that. But I kind of also want to keep them because I would like to get my singles of the Hush storyline actually, uh, they're already bagged and board, but I'd like to get them graded if possible. So this would be a good excuse to get that done because I'd be like, yeah, okay, I can still read them, 
and I have them braided. They're really nice and shiny and pretty now. Um, that brings us to the actual comic book craft haul. Uh, this was the big part where we kind of sat down and we found a lot of books that we were like, let's snag these because there's some popular characters in here and some characters we don't have for crafting. So we got a lot of random books in here. Uh, we're going to start with a Constantine slash Hellbait laser uh, pull here. I'm just going to kind of just show them off real quick. Here's the Constantine from the newer series. And then they had a bunch of the older Hellblazer. And she, you know, Constantine's kind of a popular character. So we're hoping we're going to be able to get some good crafts out of that. Um, then we got a Silver Surfer here where he's fighting off Namor, Hulk, and Doctor Strange. They're the Defenders all fighting for some reason. Could be some good stuff in there. Uh, then there's pretty much a big DC haul. There's more of this coming. But we don't have a lot of Aquamans who have picked up a couple of different Aquaman. Picked up the Red Lanterns here for Dexstar. Everybody loves a cat filled with fury. Some more Red Lanterns. Uh, this is just a really, you can't really tell it because of the way it is, but it's a shiny uh, and like textured cover. Like you feel all of, all of Robin's muscles. More Aquaman. Just kind of a sad looking Wonder Woman. We don't have a lot of Wonder Woman comics for her crafts. So we picked up that to add to the collection. Uh, more Aquaman. Then we got one of the uh, Future's End covers here where Superman turns to Ash for whatever reason. Brightest Day. Uh, a chunk of the, I believe it's the Rock of Ages, yes, the JLA Rock of Ages run. Uh, mainly because the Joker is involved in that and she's had a lot of success with Joker stuff. So we tried to pick up anything that may have the Joker in it. And then this issue of Robin, because there's Nightwing in it, which is like her favorite character. Um, then we just picked up some other random little singles. Daredevil, because we don't have a lot of Daredevil to use. Street Fighter, kind of branching out into multiple things. Not just straight comic books, video game character stuff too. Another Silver Surfer, because it has Thanos. Thanos is becoming popular thanks to the Marvel movies. And then Rocket Raccoon, because everybody loves Rocket. And then an Invincible, more or less for the cover. Uh, I don't even really remember this character from the comic book, although I stopped reading Invincible for a while. But we have zero Invincible to use, so it'll be a nice addition to all the other stuff we have. And then the very last thing we bought uh, is a DC Comics bombshell puzzle. Didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, that's why we really like the second and Charles store. A lot of random stuff there. So we were able to pick up a really cool puzzle. My wife and I have been getting into puzzles recently. Uh, I'll put a picture of the ones we're working on slash finished up. Uh, we just finished a Justice League puzzle and we're currently working on a Harlequin puzzle. So seeing a DC bombshells, which we both are really into and really like, uh, you know, there it is there gonna do that one after we're done with the Harlequin one. So that's everything we picked up again this week. Uh, I'm gonna try not to make two trips to the comic shop or comic places in a week or I'm gonna spend too much money. But uh, if you guys saw anything that's really cool in there or if there's any key issues or anything that are in there that I may not want to get cut up, uh, why don't you put it down there in the comments. Or, and as usual, if you guys went shopping again, let me know what you got and we'll discuss and talk about it and share what's the ins and outs of the comics. So, until next video, this is Adam, signing off.